In this video, I will show you how to share your FEA result files with others, like this in Cradle's Free Viewer. These results are uh, rotatable, you can interact with the results, zoom in, zoom out, switch certain entities on and off. So let's see how to create this. Open Cradle CFD. And open the post processor. With the post processor open, you can drag and drop your HDF5 FEA result files into the screen. And once the model is loaded, you can view, zoom in. In here and switch entities on and off. The view will update once you right click in the view or when you click the update button over here. You can also decide what to display on the fringe. And manipulate the view any way you want. Once you've created the view and the look that you like by switching entities on and off and changing the rendering settings for instance like photorealistic rendering in on the camera you can save the look by saving a status file this then saves the settings of the view irrespective of the results that you have open and then in future sessions you can simply pick your status file that you've saved and drag and drop this into the view. And once the status file is loaded, your view looks exactly the same as you've set it up before. Other things that you might want to change is remove, like removing the, the hexagon logo. For modal analysis results, change which cycle or mode to display and to show the deformation of the modal result make sure that the type is on static that you've selected the eigenvalue and if you press the animate button this will animate you can switch on round trip now that you have the view and the results that you want you can simply save the current status again but in this case instead of saving the status file save a cradle viewer file select the name save the file now you can close the, pre the post processor and instead open the cradle viewer which is an exe file there's a an example model here of what kind of results and views you can actually generate and now you'll simply take your results file in cradle viewer file which is now much smaller than the original HDF file and drag and drop it into the viewer and now you have an interactive result file that you can share with others